Am I Jewish? What does it mean to be Jewish? Ruby's a much bigger picture for me than I am and you are, Emma. Yeah, yeah well, that's because you can change the view, Mum. If you go oh, to the top right. right hand corner and then you can do gallery view. Just a minute, yes. No, it doesn't say gallery. Well, anyway, I won't. I won't fiddle. Actually, <laughs> actually, I've, I look the same as Emma now. Emma now looks a bit smaller. Okay. Yes. Sweet. So I just hang on a minute. I've got to let the dog out. Shall I tell you a, a little bit about mine? Can you ask set questions, Ruby? They're more of just like prompts to kind of get it going with questions. The first one is, um, do you feel as if you are Jewish? No. Not at all. But then I have to also say to you, I don't feel Christian, I don't feel any of those things. Mm. I suppose I first really hit me about <coughs> uh, being Jewish was when Granny had breast cancer and then her sister had it. And there was a, um, there was, I can't remember how it happened, but there was something mentioned about genetic mutation, the BRCA gene, which the Ashkenazi Jews have a, you know, higher than average mutation. That really kind of brought it home to me that we have this genetic link to the Jewish population. Great. So, have you both had a look at some of the questions I sent you? Some of the questions, not all. No, that's totally fine. Were there any that stood out to you as interesting or you had any interesting thoughts that you'd like to share or that you had issues with? Um, I think the are you white question. It, it, it was quite interesting to me given the... Oh, I have an answer for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, given the topical nature, especially with the whole looking girl yeah, yeah, scandal. Right. Yeah. But these are two Roma. white groups of people. Well, they How do we have to blame people see them as white people. And they, but you're missing the point. You're yeah. missing the point. Yeah. The minute you turn it into race, it goes down this alley. Let's talk about it for what it is. It's how people treat each other. The whole basis of the Holocaust was uh, racial extermination. It wasn't on a religious basis. It was on the fact that According to most of Europe at the time, Jews were non-whites, mm -hmm. non-classically white. Yeah. Whatever. Didn't yeah. pass as white. Or... Yeah, I mean there, there were many Jews who were able to pass as white. The Jewish blood yeah. was the problem. Yeah. Who's there? I'm the Fuller Price man. I'm working my way through college. Thank you. No, I got you. It is important to me, you know, whenever I go into these topics, just to explain it the way that I kind of understand it, kind of explain my identity to people, because it is very misunderstood. Ah, uh, Hagrid. What exactly are these things? They're goblins, Harry. Clever as they come, goblins, but not the most friendly of beasts. Best stay close. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, exactly. Mr. Harry Potter wishes to make a withdrawal. No, no. Okay, sorry, guys. Alright, no worries. I was worried people were going to come yeah, in and say, <laughs> Get out, Jews! Get out! <laughs> yeah. Ah, here we go again. Yeah. It's the Spanish here. Inquisition all over itself. again. You know. Something I find really interesting with this idea of then Judaism being a race, which is like, with its history, um, how connected I feel to its history and politics as I'm like, oh, well, that is down my family line. I don't know if either of you resonate with that. Many years ago, I was having a meal with two Jewish friends. They just were saying to me that I was Jewish. And, they, and I said, well, I don't feel Jewish. They, they said, oh, but you are, because your mother's Jewish. And, you know, it goes through the female line. And they absolutely insisted that I was Jewish. And we spent the whole evening about it, because I didn't feel Jewish in the slightest. But if my mother was Jewish, whether she behaved like a Jew or not didn't matter, that meant I was Jewish. But I did feel very, um, very pushed into it, really. 
I, I felt I couldn't be me. We were forced from the safety of whiteness, but I've been accepted back. Always pale, my mother would call me an English rose, and I know from how the world responds to my ways of being and looking, that's what I am. רבות בנות עשו חיל, ואת עלית על כולנה, שקר החן והבל היופי. אישה יראת אדוני היא תתהלל, תנו לה מפרי ידיה, ויעללוה בשערים מעשיה. That's a Sephardi version. Sounds like a completely different song. It's a completely different song, yeah, exactly. So, גמלתו. She reciprocates to him. Tov, the good, but velo ra, lo means not no or not. So she always makes sure that she repays his good, but never the harm. Kol yemechayeha, for all the days of her life. It's hard right? to live up to. It is hard to live up to, but Jewish women do it for some reason. They, they just, they just, they just do. Okay. Eshet chayil mimsa Verechok mimpinim mimichra Batak ba lev ba la Ve shalal yo yeksa Gemela tu yuto ve lo ra Kol yemei chaye ha Dashat se me u fishtim Vatas bechfet vechefets kepeha Zamemet seda Vatika hehu Mi pricha peha natecharem Chobra boz manecha Vatiamet zohorateha <laughs> like how God, um, yeah, in a gracious ruse, caused the Jews to wander the desert until we became courageous, this group of law derives from divine grace so that we should be left with the kind of practices to which we used to be accustomed to and therefore our belief in God constitutes the first and central thing. That's what Rambam teaches us about the temple. I hope that's interesting. <laughs> I think it's very powerful because it suggests that, in fact, where we are now is in some ways more sacred. So, anachnu <laughs> וצאצאי עמך בית ישראל, כולם ידעו אשמך, ולומדי תורתך לשמך. ברוך אתה, אדוני, המלמד תורה לעמו ישראל. Blessed are you, God, you teach Torah to your people Israel. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for listening to the Rambo. Shabbat Shalom. Page 171, we are not going to bring an animal to sacrifice, but as Chava teaches, do something even more holy, which is enter in prayer.
171. My first Shabbat filled with love and acceptance. I know I would not have to change myself to be welcome. There's just one complication. Blue is the sky, is God, the Father. I would love to be part of the sky, but I can't worship a man. Can't dedicate my soul to the despised dynamics that manifest physically around me. I was born into a blue world, but you cannot be born a blue spirit. So these are the Kaczynski pictures? Yes, so I think these were sent by uh, Renata Doring and she must have, um, part, well, she passed them on to Ludi. Who's that? Cheeky Chaplin. Ah, well, this is, this is Maxim. Oh, right, yeah. Ben and Siobhan. You remember Siobhan? I can, I you can, can tell see that Siobhan, Siobhan yeah. can't you? Look at that face, yes. <laughs> um, here, here's the original. Oh. But yeah, that's great. That's so <laughs> sweet. His hair's amazing. Mm, it <laughs> is actually, isn't it? Really thick. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that was for Uncle Jürgen and it said, greetings um, from Frank and uh, Laura Conroy. Conroy, their parents, mm. keep the red flag flying, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Who's there? So this, I think, is Rainy. She was a Stalinist, actually. Mm. I mean, you know, she was really hard. It's, it's really difficult to understand that because she was such a lovely person. She was my favourite of the aunts. Mm. So there's another one of Rainy. I love their haircuts. Yeah. And um, her and my granny um, were known as the little ones. And um, they had both the same haircut. So that's, <laughs> there they are, those two They look together. like twins. Yeah, because what happens, all the rest were a lot older. And then they had my granny, Sabina, and then a few years later had uh, Rainy, Renata, and they were um, known as the little ones mm -hmm. because there was such a big age gap between the, the four others, the four older ones, and the, the two mm -hmm. younger ones. Um, when did she go to Britain? 1933. And did she go with other members of the family? Yes. So the father escaped first because he... Um, they were hunting for him, so he left. So they, they came for him very early on. So once he left, then his wife, she took the two younger ones because Jürgen, the oldest, he'd, they built a, a house for him on the land because the idea was that they, they had this house and they had this large piece of land and they were going to build a house for each of their children. Aww. And his was the only one to be built before yeah. 1933 and they had to leave. I'm just looking at this one. So they were obviously doing some campaigning here. Look, it says women, what does that say? Something? Demand peace. Mm. So that was in um, 1949. So I'm not exactly sure. I can't read that very well. Them shoulder pads. I know. Yeah. <laughs> It says, let the children live, support the world, peace, Congress. Yeah, so there's my granny. Oh. At the Morning Star. What's that? That's the communist newspaper oh. that she worked at. She was the librarian and we used to go and help her in our school holidays. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> is that my mum was working so or, or working some of the days and um, so we yes we had to go up with our granny yeah <laughs>
But actually, what did you do when you helped her with it? Well, we had to go through newspapers and cut out stories that we thought were interesting and worth archiving. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> did you learn a lot from it then? Did it radicalise you? No, no, we didn't <laughs> at all. Um, and she tried very hard to radicalise us. Mm. Um, and it, it didn't work. But having said that, we then got into C&D and went on all those demos and, mm. and became politically active through, through that way. And I think they were very pleased. I always preferred red anyway. Perhaps because it's my namesake. My blood I was born with. It is my family, what binds me to a world unknown, what incriminates me in a world not so far away. They tried to say we were hungry for blood, but ours was always so rich. It is the passion, the politics, the pain of my ancestors I carry through my body, protected by the shell of my white skin. My blood is a free pass to something bigger than myself.